about five minutes with Ronak Bagot. A Light in the Forest by Conrad Richter is a book that takes place around the 1760s. When Indians were thought of as savages and not real people, but currently they're thought of as normal people in our everyday life. Welcome to About 5 Minutes with your host, Ronak Pagot. This is a show where we bring characters from book stories and have them talk to us about their story, about what happened to them. And today, from the book A Light in the Forest by Conrad Richter, we have characters True Son and his native cousin, Half Arrow. So, True Son, what were some of the main conflicts that happened to you throughout this story? When I was very young, I was captured by Native Americans and I was raised to them until the age 14. But then I had to go back to my white family and guards escorted me back and I had to live with them. I hated the whites. I've learned all my life that the whites are terrible people and I just didn't want to be there. I really wanted to go home. And then one day when I was outside, I saw Half Arrow and Little Crane in the woods. Yeah, I've seen that they were coming to get me. Half Arrow came out of the woods and said that he talked to my white uncle and, he and told said him that I was not there. So he wanted to tell him why he said that. And when we were there, he tried to grab me and we got in a fight with him. And Half Arrow grabbed a pole and hit him on the head and knocked him out. We had to run immediately before anybody found out. We went into the woods and we found that Little Crane had been bitten by a snake and he had died and we had to go all the way back to our native tribe and that was really far away. We had to cross rivers and mountains and still hide from the whites that were coming through. Half real. how were you useful to choose some throughout his journey with this whole experience? When he went, with, when the white people captured him, I went and followed him. Then I ca uh, comforted him throughout his journey to the white family. But then he told me to go back to the Indian village and give a message to our father. Soy Loga. Oh, true son. How did it feel to be living with your American family? And how were your reactions with them when you first met them? At first I wanted nothing to do with them. I ignored them, hated them, and just didn't want to be there. But then, when I met my brother, my little brother Gordy, I, I really, I connected him in a way because I've never really had a brother before, and uh, he's like the only one that I really liked in my white family. Back home, he didn't really have any brothers, so and he missed Gordy, who was his white brother. So he asked me to be his brother, and I accepted. So true, son. In the book, he said, "I would never forget my native ways." Can you elaborate on that? What I meant by that was, I would never forget my native family, I would never forget half I would never forget my father, and I'd never forget the things that we practiced, religion and everything, I would never let go of that. What was the consequences to you for not scalping your American uncle? Well, the consequences were pretty harsh. My native father had told me that I needed to capture a white boy. I, this was really hard for me to do because the boy that I had to capture looked a lot like Gordy, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't take him. I was surprised he didn't take his brother. It's a tradition of our Indian family to uh, always scout people who have hurt our loved ones. So Tristan, as I recall in the book, in the other ending, your native father had a conversation with you. What was it about? He told me that our paths have to separate, that I can no longer be with him. I was confused why I couldn't, most likely because I didn't scalpel the white uncle. So true, son. How did that make you feel? It made me feel extremely sad that I could not be with my native family, my native culture, what I grew up knowing. And I just felt depressed. Oh, hi, Farrell. How did you feel when your cousin True Son had left you? I was confused. He was my cousin and bro brother all along. He didn't scalp our um, his uncle Wilson, which was a tradition of ours. He abandoned the tribe, even though he didn't 
really connect with us at the end. I will so always remember him as a brother. So folks, that's all for today. See you next time on About 5 Minutes. Howdy. And goodbye. Oh, George. All in all, the overall theme of the book, The Light and the Force by Conrad Richter was to always follow what you believe in because throughout the story, True Son acts upon what he, he believes, believes in. in. Produced by Ronak Bagat, Ron Kabir, Brennan Douglas. Special thanks to Mr. Hoffman, Miss Kay.